this year, um, Selfridges had a really standout campaign for me. Um, usually with Selfridges, we see quite a lot of um, traditionalism and we see um, a lot of fun. Um, this year, they stripped it back, but also made it quite extravagant. They had um, a very much a very party parade theme. Um, but underneath the party parade theme, there were some really serious messages that were coming through. Um, so if I start at the beginning of when you uh, really start breaking down the Selfridges campaign, the first thing that they do is they focused on their three flagship stores, which is their three cities, so London, Birmingham and Manchester. And I think what we can say is this year has been one of those years where there has been uncertainty in consumers and Selfridges are rallying consumers together and promoting certainty in what feels like uncertain times. Um, and this was one of their first messages that they really started to deliver. Um, they used a fantastic poem, um, a spoken word piece, um, which really outlined the importance that each city brings to each store and to the people that live around them. Um, that you go up north to see your family, that you know you go to London to see the bright lights of the big city. Um, and they really made sure that each city had its relevance. Um, they did a lot of collaborations with British designers for different things. So they've got Stella McCartney, who has done a scarf. They did Kate Dowdy, who has done a psychological map of London. Um, they've introduced things like the corner shop. And the corner shop in London was fantastic. What, what we know even for Britain, but is corner shops. And they introduced an in-house corner shop. And in there, it was all things that were truly British, from, you know, bells, which had, you know, British designers like Stella McCartney and Alexander McQueen written on them. Um, all the way through to small, you know, niche designs um, from local and bespoke designers. And it was really, really nice. And when you went in there, you kind of felt at home and you felt like, you know, this is a part of London, this is a part of what we are, you know, what we're about. You go up to Manchester and, you know, it was very much signified towards the Northern Quarter. Um, and all in it was making consumers feel at home. You know, this shop's in their city, it's in their home. Um, but then across the whole chain of Selfridges, it was your nation, it's your UK, um, and we're celebrating the cities that we love. Um, and I think that was the first big message that came through. Um, I think you could link some of that to Brexit and the fact that it's, you know, Britain, we're uniting, um, you know, we're coming together, we're rallying together, we're, you know, we're a force to be reckoned with. Um, which then leads me quite nicely onto the second theme, really, that came through in Selfridges' campaign, which was this united... Um, this united effect and how they were bringing people together in joy and you know they used a lot of inspirational language in Selfridges they you know things like united in this time of joy um, which was really pulling on the fact that um, Christmas is a time to come together it's a time to have a party let's celebrate the true meaning of Christmas by you know sharing it with our loved ones um, giving gifts that matter giving personal gifts giving things that you know make it count, but let's have a right royal party at the same time. And that is what Selfridges did, in, especially in the London flagship, you know, every night there was a party parade, confetti cannons went off, Santa came down dancing to madness, I even got a picture with him. Um, and, you know, there was chimney sweeps, there was elves, there was dancing girls, it was brilliant, absolutely brilliant, and the, the mood in store just lifted and you felt like you were transported to a completely different place. And Selfridges became more than a department store this year. It became, it became a spectacle, it was an experience, it became somewhere that you wanted to go to, you wanted to be part of it. It had a really warm environment and it felt like everyone from staff through to the brands and the products through to the consumer were really connected and united. Um, they had another concept which also ran through their whole campaign this year, which was based on diversity. Now, we've seen diversity a lot this Christmas. Um, it's been everywhere. Um, with Australia getting the um, same-sex marriage granted, there's been a huge push towards gender-neutral behaviours. Um, and this whole you know, freedom to embrace diversity has definitely come through. And we've seen this a lot, not just in Selfridges, but Selfridges, they brought it in. They had Saint the Pink. It was very glam. Um, there was a lot of drag, it was all very extravagant and it was very exuberant, um, but it was done in a really tasteful um, and a really exciting way. And when you went into Sink the Pink, um, it was an experience and a half, you know, you just couldn't help but want to get up and sort of dance with, you know, with your pint of whatever you were drinking. It was fantastic and again, it really made Selfridges more than a place that you go to shop. Um, so why Selfridges kept its traditionism? You know, you look at what Harry Selfridge introduced those all those many years ago, 
of what Selfridges really is. Um, and it kept that element, it really moved it forward and it, it really has placed itself in the 21st century. It's, it was a real, um, it, it was an experience, um, definitely for consumers and passers-by. Um, I think the other thing we can say about Selfridges and they, they are um, a huge department store um, and they have, they have products and brands that span from, you know, they have in-store Primark all the way through to, you know, sort of Gucci and Fendi. Yet, what they do so well is there is no, um, there is sort of no intimidation on either level. They really make it a seamless journey uh, for any consumer, whether you're coming in for, you know, something that costs you an arm and a leg or something that doesn't cost you that much at all. It doesn't matter. Um, it's, it's equal. It's, it's a place of equality. And they really, really um, honed down on that this Christmas. And it was fantastic to see. Um, Again, one thing we always look at also is windows. So windows are important. And again, Selfridge app, Selfridge just absolutely smashed it this year. They had traditional British and sort of, well, not just British, but global trends of Christmas. So your drummer boys, your wee three kings, Santa, the Robin. Um, but with that, they'd done a nice quirky uh, twist on it. So, you know, it was, you know, the wee three kings that were draped in, you know, accessories and, you know, looking very glamorous and, um, you know, very glam and sort of high end. And they had the drummer boy and they had all these different elements, but they gave them their own spin. And, and again, they were really impactful, really colourful, used a lot of regal colours. They used a lot of burnt burgundy, forest green, some really deep velvet blues. Um, again, all matching to what is the Selfridges colour palette, but making it really sort of rich and tonal, um, which really enhanced their messages, actually. It was really strong. It was a strong colour palette, which really fed into the rest of the campaign. Um, overall, it was one of my favourites this year. Um, I think they did it exceptionally well. They executed it um, with, you know, real precision. Um, and, you know... Would I go back to Selfridges for the party parade? I saw it once in uh, London. I saw it in Manchester. Um, part of me thinks I should probably go and see it in Birmingham. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that's given you a bit of an insight into sort of our take on Selfridges. Um, if you haven't been already, um, I urge you to get down there before Christmas Eve because um, it is a right royal party and it is a bit of fun. Thank you for watching day seven of our roller 12 days of Christmas. And to all of you out there, I hope you have a lovely Christmas and a very happy new year.